20 years ago that day, a former Soviet Union test site was closed down. That test site, Semipalatinsk, carried nearly one-fourth of all nuclear weapon tests. It was an early example and it was a message. A message that discontinuation of nuclear weapon tests is possible. Discontinuation of a test site is possible, or going even further, discontinuation of nuclear weapons arsenals is possible. Later on, in 1992, this early step was followed by moratorium by nuclear weapon states. In 1996, the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty itself was concluded. So this is the context within which we should look upon this example as a forerunner of the right steps. Each and every one of us will have to ask the question, did I do my best for the safety of my beloved and my family? We have to ask the question, did we do our best to ensure our safety? And we have to ask the question, is our safety well regulated? If I use certain analogies, if I take the financial meltdown, the answer to these questions is no. In hindsight, if I take the Fukushima meltdown, the answer to this question is no, in hindsight. On nuclear weapons, there is no hindsight. For decades, four or five hundred nuclear weapon tests took place during the last 50 years. During the last 10 years, there were two, two too many, I would say, but we are closing the door on nuclear weapon tests. We are creating a, a no test law and order, and we are implementing that law and order.